Namaste everyone, myself Josu Thapa. I'm going to present my digital story of our field visit organized by Kathmandu University. On the eighth week of our class at Kathmandu University, there was an exciting plan underway. A field visit tailored to our subject and coursework, neatly scheduled in the calendar. The anticipation ran high as we geared up for this immersive experience. On bright and early, I made my way to the pickup point in Kotesor, where our teacher, Dr. Roshni, and our department head, Binod Sir, with Ganesh Sir, and friends had already assembled, brimming with enthusiasm for the day ahead. Our de destination was in Sri Bhumistan Secondary School in Chauri Devrali, 8 Bita, which is in Kavri Palanchuk district of Bhagwati province. It is established in the year 2017 BS. The school catered to students from early childhood development right up to the 12th grade, fostering a holistic learning environment. The journey was more than a mere commute. It was an adventure. In a route, we sang a song with teachers and friends. Laughter in mingling with the melody, creating an infectious energy with our group. And when hunger pangs struck, we were treated to a delightful local meal of fish and rice, severing the flavors of the region. Navigating the way to this school was an adventure itself, requiring roughly two hours drive from Dolalghat along the Orinoco Highway. The road, especially after Dolalghat, proved challenging with its bumps and ongoing construction elongating our travel time. Nevertheless, our spirits remained underrated as we looked forward to the day's agenda. Our primary objective for the visit was to implement a plan to create trust beam through design and thinking melodies, where my partner Rosan Ras Depata was really excited. What stopped us profoundly was the ingenuity and resourcefulness of the student. Despite limited materials in their classrooms, their excitement and eagerness to engage in activities were very exciting. The students, ranging from the little ones in class 1 and 2, their older peers wholeheartedly participated together in every activity. Their enthusiasm was infectious, their minds brimming with creativity. Witnessing these young minds pour their hearts into showcasing and explaining their prototypes was nothing short of inspiring. They were full of confidence and pride. While asking questions, they were happy to answer, even demonstrating a deep understanding of their project despite the challenges they faced. As we immersed ourselves in the day's activities, the resilience and passion of these students left an indelible mark on each and one of us. Their eagerness to learn and create despite limitation was a powerful reminder of the boundless potential within us all. Our day at Sri Bhumistan Secondary School was not just a field visit, it was an eye-opening experience, a testament to the unwavering spirit of education and innovation thriving in the heart of these young learners. At last, our field visit was a testament to the power of adaptability and the resilience of young minds. As we wrapped up our day at Sri Bhumistan Secondary School, it was evident that success took on a different form from what we initially envisioned. This wasn't the typical urban school experience. Instead, it was an unexpected journey into the heart of a rural educational setting, which enriched our perspective in unforeseen ways. What made this visit truly remarkable was the inclusive nature of the projects we embark upon. Every student, regardless of their abilities, was an integral part of the journey. Some students were differently able, yet their involvement in the project was a signing example of the school's commitment to the inclusivity. Their contributions added depth and diversity to our collective efforts. The reality we encounter at Sri Bhumestan was a departure from our preconceived notions. The school's context and resources were different from what we had anticipated, prompting us to trick our plans on the go. However, this deviation from our expectations turned out to be a blessing in disguise. The adjustment we made to our plans fostered a more organic and meaningful engagement with the students. Their eagerness to participate despite the contrast in resources from city school was both humbling and inspiring. 
It was a reminder that innovation knows no boundaries and flourishes even in unexpected settings. As the day drew to a close, the feeling of fulfillment enveloped us. The projects might have taken a slightly different trajectory, but the outcomes were undeniably fruitful. We left Bumestan Secondary School with heart full of gratitude. Gratitude for the invaluable experience, for the opportunity to witness the unwavering spirit of learning, and for the warmth and hospitality extended by the students, teachers, and the Bumistan School administration. Our time there might have concluded, but the lesson learned and the memories forged during this visit will remain long life. It was a day where an expectation gave way to beautiful surprises, teaching us the profound impact of adaptability, inclusivity, and the universal language of education. Our gratitude extended not just to the school, but also to our Kathmandu University Department Head, Binod Sir, Dr. Rosni, and the, all the teachers whose guidance and support made this enriching experience possible. Thank you, Kusod.